Chinese fighter jets carried out simulated attacks as they flew near Taiwan's airspace. Warships sailed close to the island's military bases and major ports, and long-range rockets flew in the direction of the self-ruled democracy. All this was part of war games following House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taipei. To understand what China's army is doing, military analysts have been looking at footage from state media and mapping the locations where the drills have taken place. Beijing sees Taiwan as part of its own territory, and with these military drills, it's showing how it would seek to isolate the island in the event of a conflict. These are six zones where the Chinese People's Liberation Army has been holding its exercises in recent days. China is, appears to be practicing its uh, ability to enforce a blockade in Taiwan by putting its ships and planes basically in a big circle around Taiwan. During the drills, China showed that different branches of its army can work in sync. China is clearly trying to show that it can operate in various regions around Taiwan. It can coordinate that large military across the seas and the air and with its missiles and its intelligence gathering, its communication, its reconnaissance. But the drills also showed that Beijing's military has limitations. Military analysts say that China appears to lack the assets to impose a total blockade of the island. So instead, it seems to be preparing for a sort of quarantine around Taiwan. A mini blockade of Taiwan, cutting off aspects of its connections with the rest of the world, allowing Taiwan to import food, but not allowing it to bring in other materials, for instance, oil. Looking closer at where some of the zones were set up shows how China could choke off the island. This zone located north of Taiwan is just some 30 miles away from Taipei, which is home to the island's busiest international airport. And this southwest zone is near Taiwan's most important commercial port. And then there's the Taiwan Strait, one of the busiest trade routes in the world. The proximity of the action to key shipping routes in the region triggered the delays of some commercial flights and shipments, demonstrating the pain China could also inflict on world commerce. This is a very active area for shipping, connecting Korea and Japan with the oil markets of the Middle East, connecting the semiconductor industry with the rest of the world. The drills also took place in parts of Japan's exclusive economic zone, an area of the sea that gives sovereign states the rights to exploit and control marine resources. Japan's defense minister says some of China's missiles landed there. If there is a Chinese live fire exercise in those seas, commercial ships will be deterred, and that will certainly collapse uh, trade in that area. The Chinese military said it would continue the drills around Taiwan beyond the initially announced four days. So as tensions continue to mount, the question is whether these exercises would escalate larger military activity in the region. Any sustained effort like we've seen with these exercises is clearly going to result in more military activity by the U.S., possibly by Japan, and, and other powers in the region.